Okay, so this is the rhythm worksheet that you handed in, and I think I've graded everybody's and sent them back to you. And some of you needed some corrections, especially on the back page, but most people did an excellent job. In fact, overall, everybody did much better than in past classes. Um, we're just going to work on this right here. We're going to get started with the idea of strumming in time, plus you're going to reinforce uh, these counting things because you're going to hear them again and again, and you're going to perform them, and you're going to look at it. Now, the nice thing about this is you never have to look at your hands because there's no pitches, there's no chords, there's nothing. You're just going to make the Z chord by muting the strings, and this is going to go down for the beats and up for the ends of the beats, okay? So grab this, put it in a place you can see. We're only going to do the front side, and I think what we'll do is I'm going to um, have you watch the notes go by while I count them and strum them. And then you can rewind this, and then you can strum along with them. And then um, you'll get practice. Uh, and we're going to put on a metronome too, okay? So you get practice with that. So this next time through is important uh, because you're going to rewind it a bunch of times and do different activities. But the first time right now, you're just going to watch the notes go by, and you could say the counting with me if you want. Try and get in sync with the metronome. And then you're going to go back and rewind, and you're going to try and do the strumming of the rhythms. Now, just so you know, I'm going to pre-do this. Here's my metronome. Okay. If I have something on the beat, um, look at line three. There's four quarter notes in a row. It's counted one, two, three, four. Then I'd go down. Down, 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 four, one, two, three, four. But on the next measure, there's two eighth notes, so it'd be one and two, three and four. And so I will go down, up, down, down, up, down. See how that works? Okay. So all of line three would be one, two, three, four, one and two, three and four, or down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. That's it. Okay? All right. I'm going to make this go just a little slower because I know some of you will be just getting used to strumming. And I'll tell you something. Uh, playing slow with a metronome and doing everything right takes practice. It's easy to play fast because your imperfections get smaller and smaller. You're not lining up, but it's hard to perceive this. But we zoom in at a, at a slow tempo. It's it's kind of hard. Okay, so this first time I will count and, um, and uh, play, and you just watch the notes and, and maybe say the counting with me. That would be good. But then you're going to rewind it a bunch of times and practice it. Okay? All right. Um, yeah. In fact, now, let's just do it. Here we go. All right. So I'm at the beginning of the counting rhythms worksheet that you've counted. It's the very first line. And I'm going to keep going through each line without stopping. So after I get done line one, I'm immediately going into line two. All right. Here we go. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next line. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Third line. One, two, three, four. One and two, three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one and two and three and four and one, two and three, four, one, two, three, four and one, two and three, four and one and two and three and four. Okay. So when you play, you don't have to count. But it might be helpful for you if you say down, up, down for one and two. So if I'm looking at third line from the bottom, it goes one, two, three, four, 
1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and you don't have to say that. However, sometimes it helps some students stay in time and know which way this hand is going if you perform that saying this. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right? Uh, a note about the second to the bottom line where it has the dotted quarter note. That's going to go down, two, up, down, down. See how that works? One, two, and three. So remember that the ands are ups and all the other beats are down. One, two, and three, four. Okay? All right. Go rewind that. Say the rhythms enough times so you can say them in time with me as I'm performing. And when that happens, grab out your ukulele, play the Z chord, Z, because I'm from Canada, Z chord. Sounds cooler than Z. And then listen with the metronome and go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you have problems jumping from line to line, just do a couple lines and then stop. And then start it back up and, and go again and again and again. Okay? This, um, you're going to practice until you can do it with the metronome. I don't know how long that's going to take you guys. But you should be able to put on a metronome or play with the video, one of the two. And play any of those lines. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four. By the way, the metronome marking is... Hmm, about, looks like 60. So if you set your metronome to 60, or you can just play along with me. Eventually, soon, you'll make a video of you playing this, either with me or with a metronome set to 60, and uh, prove that you can do it. And you guessed it, eventually we'll go on to the backside too, although that's a little more tricky because it's got syncopations, emphasis between the beats. For now, just... Start with page one, say it, play it with the downs and down ups. All right, have fun with that.